everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm really excited to chat with you about this topic about how hormones make women feel crazy. Um, I'm really passionate about this because I am a women's health expert, I'm an author, I'm a speaker, I'm a chiropractor by training, but I'm trained in Eastern medicine and I did specialized my Eastern medicine and acupuncture work in fertility and hormone issues. <gasps> Yay! So I really welcome any and all questions um, if you guys have, and please, if you feel more comfortable messaging me, I would be more than happy to discuss any issues that you have regarding hormones and women's health because there's so much information out there that is just not available for women and really specialized for women. So one of the things that I talk about a lot is um, nutrition for women, nutrition matching your hormones, how to really get your body in sync and using, you know, nutrition and physiological tactics to really work with your natural body chemistry. Get a completely different result. Super exciting, right? Yay! What's not so yay is um, when you feel like garbage, like a pile of hot steaming garbage. And women who can relate to this will know that you're like, oh, I'm exercising, I'm eating right. I don't understand. Why do I not feel good? My body just doesn't feel like my own. Maybe you've had a kid or two or three or eight, right? Maybe you've just, you know, had some type of illness or injury that your body just doesn't seem to be responding from like it used to. There can be a big shift in hormone that not only makes you feel like it's you're not in your own body, but that makes you feel crazy. I can't tell you how many women I talk to on a daily basis that tell me the same thing over and over again. And they're almost, I want to say like, like feel ashamed that they feel like they're, I, I like they're, it's like apologetic about feeling like I'm crazy. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm crazy. I feel like, oh, and I try and talk to people and they don't understand. And I'm like, no, 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 you are not crazy. So many women feel like this. And then they feel like it's just them. Like it must just be me. And it just must be me that feels like I'm going crazy. It's not just you, right? You and your body hormones change and your body chemistry changes, it changes everything. When you're feeling like you're not in your own natural body and there's certain different stressors that are being set off, you everything else changes from there. So it is very different and you are not crazy. Uh, so, I mean, there's a whole other things that we can do to talk about that, but I just wanna talk about really why that happens and so you can understand sort of the why behind the what and know that, you know what, no, you're not crazy, that you're, busting your butt at the gym or you're trying to really clean up your nutrition and you're not seeing any result or you're like, oh, I just don't know what to do because I'm so tired or I'm fatigued and oh, maybe it's all in my head. Well, if you're under a lot of stress or you've been through something that's traumatic, your body may not have responded to it really, really well. It can take a minimum of three months, that's 90 days, that's 12 weeks for your hormones to shift in your body. And that is if your body and your hormones and your organs and everything are running at top speed. That's how long it takes. That's like the cycle of creating an egg and everything for ovulation. That's the cycle of all these things. It's a cycle of um, if you start on a thyroid medication, right? They're gonna make you be on that for at least three months before they're gonna test and make sure that it's the right dosage for you. That's just sort of the pace that the body works. It's kinda slow. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're going through and doing these things. If you're trying to do a crash course, you know, shift or change in something, you may be doing more harm than good if you're not really letting your body take hold of a change in exercise or nutrition. That can be really, really damaging. And then it can make you feel even more crazy because all of your hormones just changed again, really rapidly. Oof! And it's really tough for your body to come back from and respond from. So. This is something, if you're like, oh my gosh, I totally feel like this. I totally feel like I'm crazier. I totally feel like, oh, I don't know where to turn or what to do next, right? Absolutely. Here's why. Here's a big reason why with hormones in women. So the stress hormone is called cortisol. Now, really fun thing about cortisol and the way that it responds in the female body is that it actually binds to the receptors on cells that progesterone is supposed to bind to. So what does that mean? Here, we're gonna get a little nerdy. You ready? So this is, right, I'm not an artist, right? This is not to scale, this is not, this is for demonstration purposes only so you kind of understand, right? Okay, right? <laughs> um, if this is a cell, right? There's a cell. And if there's a binder recepting, receptor site here, so this is something, you know, oh, it's Pac-Man. It's, it's a Pac-Man, just kidding. This is a Pac-Man cell, oh my God. But say you're gonna need something to bind to this and it looks like this, right? So this is just an example. 
but say this is progesterone and this binds to the cell in this way, guess what cortisol does? Right in there. Cortisol will come in and be like, uh-uh, sister, get out of here. Uh-uh, I'm going to bind in here. Then what happens? That progesterone doesn't get to do its job. So then your hormones get really, we'll just say, out of whack. So this happens on a cellular level. You can't see it, right? But you can feel it. And then all these other things shift and change in your body from there. So a lot of women are like, oh, I don't understand. I feel like it's just me. It's not just you. There are things that change and a lot of it's from stress. Now stress, really fun thing about the way the human body reacts to stress is that the stress response can be set off and started from even a thought. You know, not just, oh, I'm exercising that physical stress or chemical stress from, you know, things that you're eating or things in the environment. Um, it can be mental and emotional stress. Sets off the same response. And it can be from a thought from the past, present, or future. Bing! Oh, that's great. Now, how many people are stressed out hearing that? Oh my God! What do you mean? If I think about something from the past that makes me stressed out, I'm going to start to get stressed out again? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because your brain doesn't know how to just turn it off automatically. It senses, whoa, whoa, danger, danger. Yep, here we go. Stress response. Boom. And then all these things happen. Becky, this is so me. Right? Yeah. So the stress response happens, and it's just the way it goes. Yes, you can meditate. Yes, you can do all these things to really try and target stress. Absolutely. And those things can help. But really, on a cellular level, when that cortisol is released like that, and it really interrupts the way progesterone runs, that's what happens, and then you end up feeling like you're crazy. You're not crazy. So, I'm not, this is not a video necessarily for PMS or PMDD or hormone shifts and things in perimenopause and menopause, but these are times of life for women that they feel like they are going crazy. And it's a big shift in hormone that your body has to sh handle and change. Now, not every woman feels like this, right? It's not everybody, but a lot of women can relate to this on a certain degree you know, especially through different times in their life where maybe they were under more stress or they were under the weather. Oh, they've been sick and so they haven't been feeling as well. So their body's not metabolizing those hormones as quickly as it used to. Or maybe your body just doesn't metabolize those hormones as quickly as somebody else. So when your hormones get out of whack or you have more cortisol, more stress, it really affects you in a very different way. That's very possible. So these are all things to kind of take into account. My goal, my mission is just to educate women more on the physiology of our bodies, the way hormones work, and then to like sort of open your mind on different possibilities out there <clears throat> for looking at different solutions. And a lot of times it's really just listening to your body and what's happening. What have I been through and what, where do I want to go with this? Sarah, yes, different, different times in life. Yes, right? Totally, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> so this is something that if you have, you should... Do something for nutrition right after pregnancy. Crazy hormones. Oh my gosh, April, right? Yes. Yes. That's a great idea. I do have, so in, I have information in my book, The Female Fat Solution, that talks about um, nutrition for hormones and your cycle, but it does go through, I call it seven bodies of Eve, going through different phases of your life. So seven bodies of Eve. Women have different bodies, right? Pre-puberty, puberty, puberty uh, fertility, um, after baby, you know, athletes are different, perimenopause and menopause. So that covers it in here, some different tweaks. The next challenge group that I have starting here in September is really, it's awesome book. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, is really geared towards women who are in menopause, perimenopause, menopause, where they're worried about the hormones, um, you know, if they've slowed down a lot. So you can click the link I have attached or message me if you have more questions on that. Um, but that's the, what I'm going to be focusing on for women, but there's so much information in my book or that I put online for you to follow and just check out to get more info to get started. Really, really women just need to absorb more info about how our bodies work and you can plow forward be like, okay, hmm, I'm at this phase in my life and this is where I want to go. Right. But absolutely going through fertility or going through the birthing process. Holy cow, crazy hormones. Absolutely. But again, yeah, women feel like they're totally crazy. You're not crazy. It's a different body physiology. It's different body chemistry going on. So you just need to kind of help things out at that different phase. All right. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate. Um, but I will be on here again tomorrow, giving you guys more info. Um, I'm going to talk more about exercise. I've been talking a lot about nutrition. I want to dive into a little bit more exercise. I've gotten some more questions on fitness and exercise and how to really link that up with your hormones to get the best result for your bod. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. 
Have a great night.